Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I will show you how can you download your jQuery file and use it inside your HTML document. For that, firstly, guys, we will go to jQuery.com, which is jQuery's official website. And in the right side, you can see a download jQuery button, and under that button, you can check the current version of jQuery. That is 1.8.3, and here you can see two th versions of jQuery file is available that is one is production and the other is development version firstly I'll tell you about production version guys the production version is minified version of jQuery file in the production version file the white spaces including new lines has been removed that's why its size is smaller than development version you can check it's of 32 KB and it is of 252 KB so firstly I'll click on download jQuery on production version, it will directly download to your computer or it will take to you this page. Now you can see the code of this file. It is in coded form and you will not be able to read it easily. So, this was about production version. Now I'll tell you about development version. It is uncompressed version of jQuery file. If you are interested, in the inner working of jQuery then you can use uncompressed or development version I'll click on download it will take me to this page or download it or it will download it to your computer directly now you can see this it, uh, in this file you can read its code very easily so that's why its size is bigger than production version but guys there is no difference between the functionality of these two files the functionality of these two files are same and I want to give you one more tip that if you want to use jQuery file inside your website then always use minified version because its size is smaller so I will click on the production first and then click on download then I will press Control A from my keyboard and then Control S to save this file into my computer. Then I click on the save button. Now you can see it is saved in uh, to my desktop, and I will cut this file from here. I have a folder, and I will paste it here. And I'll open this index file HTML page. Now you can see it is a simple HTML page and we we are going to include this jQuery file inside this page for that I will type uh, guys I want to tell you one more thing we can include this jQuery file inside into into two places in HTML page one is inside head tags and other is inside body tags first I will include it inside head tag script type equal to text JavaScript then its source means where the file is located so it is in the same folder and its name is jQuery iPhone 1.8.3.min.min so I will copy its name and paste it here and I will enter .js because its extension is js because it is the library of JavaScript file that why is its extension is JS, and you can also rename it uh, the name of this file. So now the uh, jQuery file is included inside our HTML document, or we can include it inside our body tag just before closing body tag. So in the next tutorial, guys, we will check whether uh, that the jQuery file is working or not means we will check the working of the jQuery file we will test it so enough for this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates of my videos let's see you in the next tutorial